Standard Insurance Limited has been schooling us on all things short-term insurance related, something that many of us think about as little as possible. I certainly fit into that bracket. The fact is, though, that insurance is a must-have, especially if you want to protect what matters most to you. So Head of Standard Bank Insurance Brokers, Charmaine Scott, is in studio today to chat to us about buying insurance, the do's and the don'ts, and those must-knows. And there are a couple of gems coming away. Charmaine, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks, I'm going to dive right in. We want to shop around. We want to get great value. How do we shop around? Where do you even begin? Well, in this day and age, there's so many options available to the consumers. They can go to the traditional broker to get some advice to make sure they're making the right decisions. Alternatively, they can go to call centres. It's a very big industry these days where call centres are available. And then the trend is also moving towards online insurance shopping because you can do your own research and you can then try and make the right decision. And we know that there are a lot of service providers that are, are giving us these choices. We see these ads being pumped out. Um, but we want to be educated before we go into that process, I think. We want to know at least enough to be able to protect ourselves, not to be duped by a marketing gimmick or be taking down the wrong path. What should we know? What should we be considering when we buy insurance? You must make sure that you're placing your insurance with a reputable insurance company. And claims payout and service reputation is critical. Mm -hmm. So ask your friends, ask your family, you know, try and get to know who's really good in the market out there. And then secondly, when buying, make sure you know what you're covered for and also what you're not covered for. So often you assume that everything is going to be covered. Yeah. Like when I buy a new vehicle, will all my extras be covered? Those extra mag wheels, uh, et cetera, <laughs> that you put on, they might, might not be covered. And then it's critical that you specify that to the insurance company, that they are included as an additional item on your policy. Oh, you, don't, you don't want to be hit with that after the fact. Yes. Just ask every question that you can. Be that irritating person that wants to check and double check and double check again. I think there is also a lot of incentive being put out there in a the marketing space to move from one company to another. Vehicles for that being kind of pushed on us. If we do find ourselves wanting to move, maybe it's a price um, kind of consideration, maybe a service consideration. What's the best way to go about moving? Is that a tricky thing to do? Is it easy to do? What should we be aware of when changing insurance companies? I don't think it's difficult to change insurance companies. I actually think it's easy. But the biggest challenge is you need to know what you're buying. And you need to make 100% sure that you're actually comparing, as we say, apples with apples. Uh -huh. um, so often you think you're buying exactly the same cover. But there, for example, you might not have car hire. It might not be covered. Or jewelry that's not in a locked safe in your house might not be covered if it's not being worn. So when you're buying, you need to consider price, but then also consider what's covered, what's not covered, and your excesses. What is that amount that you're gonna to have to pay if there's a claim? Because often the higher the excess, the lower the premium. Uh -huh. So there's just a, another gem in there as well. Um, I suppose, you know, I admitted earlier that you don't wanna think about insurance. There's something about it why do you think that is? Why do you have to constantly help to educate and drive as a broker or someone who is, is helping educate us in that space? Why do you think people do have this resistance to, to wanting to know? Because ultimately it's there to protect us. Yes. I suppose what's so tricky with insurance, it's a grudge purchase. You're going to buy it today and you might not use it for the next year or two years. So you start to think yourself, uh, to yourself, why have I actually taken insurance? But at the end of the day, the moment of truth is when that claim happens. And at that point in time, you want to know that you yourself can be in the same position you were before, that you will still have a car that you can drive around, or you will still have a roof over your head if, heaven forbid, something were yeah. to happen to your home. And these things do happen. That's, That's the, the bottom problem. line. Um, thank you so much for, for the work you're doing in our space to educate. I know a lot of our viewers have have learned a huge amount and hopefully, even if it's just one of you guys out there has been protected um, from one of these pitfalls, not having the right kind of insurance or not asking these questions at a critical time. But I think it really does all start with taking responsibility for yourself and that education. Charmaine, thank you so much. Um, thank thank you. you to Charmaine and her team and Standard Bank Insurance Brokers for helping us understand how to shop around for insurance. After all, we all want to protect our next and everything that matters to us the most. Protect your next with Standard Insurance Limited. Get up to 20% cash back on your premiums. SMS Expresso to 31492 for a quote.